big sale, big savings at oldtimeradiodvd.com. All of our collections, the prices have been slashed. Pricing will be good until January the 1st, 2018, so don't wait. Buy today and enjoy for a lifetime at oldtimeradiodvd.com. You'll be glad you did. Fear can drive a person to great lengths. Curiosity can drive a person still further. Harry Price is ready to go the distance. He's ready for the big trip to the billion worlds. But even such an extraordinary trip must begin with that first step through the vanishing point. plaque they placed above my door was not scientific. I've proven them wrong. It all began 38 years ago. I was chairman of the Citizens for Peace. We were trying to keep trucks from leaving a factory that made parts for nuclear missiles. But the crazies from the right had come too. But we have to stay here. You are all subject to arrest. Okay, now let's get up. I got so mad about. I can see people dancing. Me too. Daddy, I have no clothes on. It's like having a TV inside your head. Hey, if I walk through the valley, there's a shadow of death. The stars, Frida. They're offering us the stars. They are not ready to see. You will see. Let's all go home now. Yeah, it's getting close to supper. Does anybody need a lift? 
We should always be like this. I'm scared. What's happening to us? Harry, pray with me. I've never been a believer, Frida. I will lift up my eyes. Yes. So much happier. Come here. My, help. my help cometh from the Lord. Daddy, where do they come from? They said they're from the stars. Oh, God. I've got to talk to them. He that keepeth his will will neither slumber nor sleep. So bright in his We knew they were watching us. But after that first incredible moment when they spoke telepathically to the world, there were no more communications from the spaceships. They just hung there in the sky, pointing down. People began to be afraid, and the leaders of the world gave way to panic. The peace-loving peoples of the Soviet Union have made every effort to establish contact with the alien beings. We have sent them radio messages, we have sent them microwave messages, and we have beamed lasers on their ships. There has been absolutely no response from these creatures. We can no longer assume that these aliens are peace. We are therefore prepared today to begin negotiations with the United States and NATO powers. All citizens will proceed at once to public and private bomb shelters. Go to public and private bomb shelters and remain there until the all clear sound. Harry, come back to the house, please. No. You have no right to do this to me. They're crazy. I know, but you can't stop them. Harry, think of the children. I'm bearing witness, Frida. I don't want you to die, Harry. Please, please come down to the shelter with they me. They know, Frida. Whoever they are, whatever they are, they know everything that's happening here. I can feel it. And somebody has to stand up so they can see. Somebody has to say, look, I'm not part of the madness. I want to learn from you. All right, Harry. Frida, go back to the shelter. If you're staying out here, I'm staying out here. No, Frida, no, damn you. There go. So beautiful. It's so stupid. Harry. Look at them all. There must be 100,000 missiles up there. The whole Earth arsenal. Oh, my God. The Lord is my shepherd. I shall not want. He maketh me to lie down in green pastures. Frida, open your eyes. It's fantastic. He restoreth my soul. He leadeth me in the paths of right. Frida, look. Harry, what's happening? They turned them aside. A force field, something God knows. They turned all the missiles aside. They're heading for the moon. That's how they're going to get us. Blow up the moon. Wreck our gravity. Oh, dear God. No, no, no. That's not what's happening. The people in those ships. Oh, it's unbelievable. All those missiles. They brought them all together, made them all explode. Can you imagine the power those aliens must have? Fallout. That's how they're doing it. They'll cover the whole earth with fallout. Get a hold of yourself. Please come. Run for the shelter, Harry. Please. Let go of me, Frida. There won't be any fallout. It all happened thousands of miles out there. What do they want? They said they would bring us peace. Harry, pray with me just this once. All right. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Give us this day our daily bread. Stars, Frida. And forgive us our trespasses as we forgive. Let's eat, Mom. Yeah, let's eat, Mom. Shh. Quiet, kids, quiet. Howard, please. Those Maybe giant you squares on the side. Stuff I can't help you. Silver ice cream. Quiet, stupid kids. You're pushing the brakes. You've been fighting all day. Now that the aliens have won with their forces, all right, just do as your mother says. Turn this thing off. Notice that there is no Listen, control kids, panel. Just, right. Look, uh, the kids are right, Frida. I'm starving too, huh? Eh? Let's go. Grand, Say the grace, Dad. Keep it short, Albert. Oh, all right. Looks more like a living room than the Lord, of a ship on this Thanksgiving Day, 
We give thanks for our manifold blessings. We thank Thee for our health and the good fortune of our family. Thank Thee for the abundance of the earth. And we thank Thee for all... Cut the turkey, Grandpa! We even thank Thee for small boys with tapeworms in their stomachs. Grandpa, we'll play Space Invaders after... Oh, would someone please turn that thing off? This Thanksgiving, could we all relax, please? Don't hear much of your anti-nukers these days, Harry. Hmm? Finally getting tired of marching about looking stupid, are they? We're just waiting, Dad, like everybody else, till we know what the aliens want. Oh, sure, They sure. want to come down here and murder us in our bed. Oh. <laughs> Would you like some more roast potatoes? Don't you shush me. Pass I line. know what yeah. I'm talking about. Look, Mother, have you noticed how peaceful everything's been since they came? <laughs> Except for Missile Day. No, no, that was politicians, not people. <laughs> well, uh, you got to admit, uh, Harry does have a point, Mother. You know, I go out in the street now and I, I see smiling faces all over the place. Stop playing your food. Even people I know are bitter yes. and mean as hell. <laughs> they say hello to me like I'm an old pal. They're just trying to trick us. Any we ought to regretting? bomb them again. I heard on yeah, the news that there okay. hasn't been a violent oh, crime, not even a purse snatching since the aliens yeah. came. Yeah. I'm ready for dessert, Grandpa. Eat, We're having chocolate cake, Grandpa. Yeah, for oh, me. Good, good. Not you finished your I she dropped half of it. All right, she all right, all right. Now, quiet down. Do not be afraid. What's that? Who spoke? No one did, Mother. It's telepathy. We are from the planet Silene. We have come to test you. I can see pictures inside my head. Me too. Flowers and funny little animals. They're so funny. They'd better not do anything inside my head. I'm an old woman. The time has come to perform our mission. I believe in God, the maker and creator of the universe. We will select among you certain people to be tested. If they pass our test, we will open up to you the way to universal peace. We will take you to the star. What do you mean? No, don't, don't go. We bring you goodwill from all the billion worlds of the galaxy. They are waiting for you. I hope they try me. I'll tell them what I think of them. Frida said they would test the leaders of the world. Presidents and premiers and the chiefs of communist countries. I believed she was right. But I still longed for the Selenians to come to me. I was sure I was the kind of person they were really looking for. I'd quit my job as a biologist so I could spend all my time campaigning against nuclear weapons. And my wife, Frida, was a sister in the new ecumenical church. She and her friends were pulling together the common themes in all religions and trying to create a new universal form of worship. Frida and I devoted our whole lives to the cause of peace. We deserved to travel to the stars. I was sure we could pass any kind of test the Selenians wanted to throw at us. But how could I tell this to the Selenians? I felt so helpless. Harry, are you going to stand in front of that window all night? Can you imagine what it must be like, Frida? Traveling in space. Harry, remember? Huh? It's a good deed to make love on a feast day. <laughs> That's a great way for a sister of the new ecumenical church to talk. I'm not wearing my robes now. I'm not wearing anything, as a matter of fact. Maybe if I wrote to them. Let's see now. Dear Mr. Selenian, I would like to tell Harry you... Harry Price, if you don't uh, yeah. get back here, I'll... <laughs> what do you want, oh, Frida? Oh, Harry. Uh, no, no, don't, don't tell me. Show me. Oh. Oh. oh, Harry, I love you so much. Harry Price? Yes. So you think you are ready for star travel, do you, Harry Price? Where am I? You are with us. I'm not afraid. See? demand sacrifice. What do you want? We want nothing. We only tell you the truth. We are waiting, Harry Price. My life. That's it, isn't it? What else could be enough? What else have I got? Oh, Lord. My life for saving the world. My life so people can go to the stars. It's not such a bad bargain. Tell my wife, though. You must tell my wife. I don't want Frida thinking I just got up in the middle of the night and disappeared. Tell Frida what I've done so she can tell the children. 
Yeah, I don't care about anybody else. I don't want any monuments. I just want Frida and the kids to know. Get it over with. What are you waiting for? You want my life? Take it. What's wrong? Isn't my life good enough for you? You came to me. I didn't ask you to come. Oh, no. I see it now. I know what you want. No. No, you're crazy. Uh, Harry. What happened, Harry? Oh, oh, it's nothing. It's a nightmare. I'm sorry I woke you. They spoke to you, didn't they? No. What do they want? Nobody spoke to me. Don't lie to me, Harry. I ate too much turkey, that's all. Let's go back to sleep. Huh? I am not just your wife, Harry. I'm a sister. I have a right to know. They wanted... You, Frida. At least, I'm pretty sure that's what they wanted. They didn't spell it out. But it takes sacrifice to travel to the stars, and my life wasn't good enough for them. I see. They're monsters, Frida. Oh, Harry. I do love you. There was nothing to be afraid of. They wanted your life. This life, my darling. In my faith, I will be born again. Death doesn't frighten me. Dying is only a moment. I don't believe that. I've never believed it. Touch me, Harry. They gave you the power. I can feel it. The children. Think of Peter and Annabelle. You are going to leave them? Frida, are you sure? We don't have to do this. We, we could tell them to test someone else. They're doing something wonderful for me, Harry. Don't you see that? A chance to offer my life up for others. I love you, Frida. Kiss me, Harry. And think of me sometimes when you're out there traveling between the stars. She's gone. Oh, Frida. Daddy. Daddy. I never dreamed it would be like this. Daddy, I heard Mommy cry. Was I having a dream? No, Peter, it wasn't a dream. Well, where's Mommy? Oh, my son. When's Mommy coming back? Soon, Peter. Soon. Someone called from the church. You, you go back to bed now. Get some sleep. It's over. I've done what you asked. We ask nothing. We are only messengers. The stars demand sacrifice. What did you sacrifice? More than you can ever know. Show me the stars. I've paid your price, you bastards. You owe me. I did what you wanted. I gave you everything. No, you can't leave me. human. You're monsters. Daddy. Daddy. No. Wait. Daddy, can I get in with you? Oh, sure, honey. When's mommy coming back? Soon, Annabelle. You'll be seeing mommy very soon. Get some sleep now. Can we go to the zoo? Sure. We'll see the new giraffe. I want to see the tigers. We'll see them all, honey. Go to sleep now. Frida. What should I do, Frida? Your death wasn't enough. And God help me, I, I can understand. They didn't say anything, but I know the way they think now. I've still got the children, you see. It won't be so hard to raise them alone. I can make so much love in this house, the children will grow up thinking I've been such a wonderful father. I might even marry again. It seems crazy now, impossible, but it could happen. If they'd taken me, I wouldn't want you to be alone. I'd want you to marry again. Frida, I'm sending the children to you. They're all I have left to give. The final sacrifice. Three lives for the stars. Three lives to bring peace to the world. I don't know. I don't know what else to do. Frida, tell the children I never meant to hurt them. Tell them, tell them I've always loved them. Can I get in too, Daddy? Here, touch my hand, son. Dad! What's wrong, Daddy? Touch me, Annabelle. It's all right. I'm just scared. No, take my hand, Annabelle. No, don't hurt me, Daddy. Please don't hurt me. Daddy! No!
house. Our home world. Then we're traveling to the stars. I want to see. We're the windows in this thing. I want to look out. I'm afraid there's nothing to see. We're traveling several times faster than what you people call the speed of light. Actually, we're going through folds of time. And it's all terribly complicated. Even if there were windows on this craft, you couldn't see anything but a sort of gray mushiness. Rather like what you might call potato soup, I should think. Huh. I gave up everything for this. And now you tell me there's nothing to see? How about a nice flask of wine? Who are you? I'm your servant, of course. I'm here to help you. I won, didn't I? I passed your test. I have some flasks from Nostradus, the twelfth world in the Vagan system. It's supposed to be just for council members, but I think you might appreciate it, too. You said you'd bring peace to the world. That was part of the bargain. Would you like red or white? What? The red's a trifle dry, but perhaps just the thing to go with that synthetic fish. It was the closest I could get to what your world calls lobster. A very curious creature, you know. It reminds me a bit of... Who the hell are you? Why are you talking to me like this? What happened? Well, speak to me, damn you, speak to me. All that took place 38 years ago. At least, I think it was that long. One of the few things I managed to bring with me from Earth was this wind-up wristwatch. An antique that had been in my wife's family for generations. I've guarded that watch and cared for it as though it were my own child. And I calculate that it has ticked off 38 years of my life. The end is very near. The Selenians are treating me for two diseases, which on Earth I think would have been called diabetes and obesity. Thirty years of living in one room have taken their toll. I shall be joining Frida and the children very soon. All that I have to leave behind me is this journal and my dictionary of English and Selenian. The dictionary has been the labor of a lifetime, and I'm going to leave a letter asking the Selenians to pass it on to the next human beings they encounter. If they ever again bring anyone from Earth to this dim, gray little planet. It has taken me 30 years to make the 700 tones of high Selenian comprehensible in English. The first morning that Dix Trilsis and I sat at this table and talked man to man, instead of communicating telepathically, I burst into tears. And for as much as I can read the emotions of Selenians, I think he felt the same way. The dictionary proves that the inscription above my door is wrong. For 38 years, I've been a resident in what I take to be a, a kind of anthropological museum. When I first deciphered the inscription above my door, I was outraged and very hurt. But then, I realized that if I could understand that inscription, I was beginning to understand Selenian. That inscription became my Rosetta Stone. This dictionary will show the Selenians and any human beings who come here after me how incorrect and unjust the inscription is. It says, temporary exhibit, planet Earth. Category, scientist, middle range, species, subhuman. has been stranded a lifetime on a dim gray planet trying to understand where his curiosity left him. He won't have to wait too much longer. Mercifully, human disease has followed him through that tear in the fold of time, through the vanishing point.
The Silenian Test by David Lewis Stein. Featured in the cast were Terry Kelly as Harry Price and Janet Wright as Frida Price. The two children, Annabelle and Peter, were played by Patricia Goldsmith and Sean Clements, and the grandparents by Gloria Harris and Joseph Golland. Politicians, newscasters, and policemen were played by Norm Groman. Technical operations were by Jerry Stanley, with sound effects by Joe Silva, and the computer-synthesized soundscape was by Barry Truax. The series' musical theme for Vanishing Point is by John Roby. The series' script editor is Sandra Rabinovich, and the voice of introduction is David Calderisi. The Silenian Test was produced and directed in Vancouver by Don Kowalchuk. The executive producer of Vanishing Point is William Lane. Next week on Vanishing Point, a production from our CBC Halifax studios, Teenage Catalog Model, by novelist and radio dramatist Kent Thompson, is a detective story with a distinctive difference. The production by Sudsy Clark features Joseph Rutten and Bill Carr. That's Teenage Catalog Model, by Kent Thompson, next Friday night at this same time. Vanishing Point has been on the air for ten weeks now, and the team of people who put this show together every week are eager to hear from our listeners about it. We want to know how you think the series is going, which plays you've enjoyed the most, and which you've liked the least, too. You can send your comments to Vanishing Point, CBC Radio Drama, Box 500, Station A, Toronto, Ontario, M5W1E6. We're also pleased to announce that a selection of eight productions from the Vanishing Point series will be available on audio cassette starting January 15th on the CBC Enterprises label. Cage of Light by Bill Gray. Death and the Compass, adapted from the story by Borges. The Playground, adapted from the story by Ray Bradbury. Disappearance by David Helwig. Quickening by Judith Thompson. And The Testing of Stanley Teagarten by Tim Wynne Jones. As well as two more productions yet to be aired on the series, How Love Came to Professor Gildy, adapted from the story by Robert S. Hitchens, and The Blue Devil by Charles Tidler. Look for these four new cassettes at your local dealer early in the new year. Until next week, I'm Art Cuthbert, wishing you good night.